Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon to receive further notifications and like and subscribe to the channel. Pakistan suffered yet another humiliating defeat in the Cricket World Cup. This time at the hands of Australia. Their chances of qualifying for the semis took a huge blow as their so-called world-class bowling lineup were let to rest. At the beginning of the World Cup, I said the teams are going to target Pakistan's fast bowling of Shaheen Shah Afridi and Haris Rao. Ever since their thrashing at the hands of India in the Asia Cup, their cloak of invincibility was gone forever. Virat Kohli and company laid down the template which more teams will look to follow. This World Cup has just reinstated the fact which Pakistanis tried to hide. These are glorified T20 bowlers, nothing else. If you can play Shaheen's first two overs without losing any early wickets, there are more chances that you would score in excess of 300 every single time. Australia did just that. Both Warner and Marsh were very initially, but mixed caution with aggression. However, Pakistan shot themselves on the foot and Usama Mir dropped a sitter of David Warner of the bowling of Shaheen Shah Afridi. Catches win you matches and it was once again proved to be correct. It demoralized the bowler and the Aussies launched the counter-offensive. Both Marsh and Warner were dealing in sixes and fours. They were particularly severe on Haris Rauf. It was a planned attack from Australia to take on Rauf, who usually picks up wickets in the middle of the innings. Both Warner and Marsh pounced on him and Haris considered 24 runs of his first over. It was similar treatment to which Rohit Sharma dealt him in the previous game. And once again, Baba Razam looked clueless. He turned to part-timer Iftikhar Ahmed inside 10 overs. And the Australians met Mary. Boundaries and sixes galloped as both the openers went on to score hundreds. They put on 259 for the first wicket. And at one point of time, the Australians looked like they were cruising to 400. David Warner made the most of the drop catch and was dismissed for 163 of 124 deliveries. Pakistan made a strong comeback mainly due to Shaheen Shah Afridi who took a fifer and restricted the Aussies to 367. Once again, Babar Azam's captaincy missed a beat as he brought back Shaheen too late in the innings. In Bengaluru, 367 was still chaseable and Pakistan got off to a good start with Abdullah Shafiq and Imamul Haq both scoring 50s. They put an opening stand of 134 before Marcus Toynis broke through and dismissed both the openers. The stage was once again set for Baba Razam to stamp his authority on the World Cup. He wouldn't get a better track to prove his mettle than the Chinna Swami. Baba's troll army are always on social media glorifying his achievements and counting his days as the number one ODI batter. His minions are so blinded in their devotion that they fail to see that most of those runs were against weaker teams or against second string bowling attacks. Once again on the big stage, under the bright lights, Baba failed miserably. Once again, it was Adam Zampa who got him out. Barber's struggle against Zampa, Adil Rashid, Kuldeep Yadav is well known. And this World Cup just exposed Barber's weakness against wrist pin all the more. Once Barber was dismissed, it was just a matter of time. Mohammad Rizwan, like Barber, has scored runs against weak teams. In the high-scoring game, he could manage 46 of 40 balls. Once again, he was dismissed by Adam Zampa. There was little resistance from Shaud Shakil and Iftikhar Ahmed and the rest of the Pakistan's lower order 
as they crumbled like a pack of cards. Australia won by 62 runs and Pakistan are staring down the barrel. In the last game, Mickey Arthur, Pakistan's director of cricket, felt the Dil Dil Pakistan wasn't played enough and it demoralized his players. It felt like a BCCI event and not an ICC event. Someone should ask him what happened against Australia. The Pakistan anthem was played over and over, and yet it seemed like the Aussies got more charged up than the Pakistani players. This is what happens when you look for excuses instead of analyzing your own mistake. Pakistan now face an uphill task of beating England and New Zealand and South Africa to have any chance of qualifying into the semis. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.